Have you been searching for a versatile, feature-rich note-taking app to handle everything from daily tasks and journaling to research projects and meeting notes? Do you want something that goes beyond basic note-taking and will allow you to structure and interlink your thoughts through blocks of formatted content? If so, you've likely heard about Obsidian and LogSec. These two tools dominate the personal knowledge management scene which helps users streamline their ideas and manage complex information. But which one is the better choice for your needs, Obsidian or LogSec? Obsidian is a powerful, local-first, markdown-based note-taking app. It is designed around the concept of a second brain, a way to store, connect, and retrieve information effectively. The tool emphasizes privacy and user control over data, as notes are stored locally, though syncing options are available. Obsidian is great for users who value customization, local storage, and a visually engaging way to explore their knowledge. On the other hand, LogSec is also a local-first, privacy-focused outliner that supports both Markdown and Org Mode formats. It takes inspiration from Rome research in how it structures information and encourages linking between notes, but it emphasizes simplicity, privacy, and ease of use. LogSec is ideal for users who prefer outliner-based note-taking and want to integrate journaling, task management, and knowledge management into one cohesive workflow. Outliner means it writes everything in bullet list and node format. The user interface is one of the most critical factors in a note-taking app, as it directly affects how easily you can capture ideas as they arise. Obsidian, being a feature-rich note-taking tool, can seem overwhelming at first glance. The interface is cluttered with sidebars and numerous buttons, which can be distracting when you're just trying to jot down some notes. While this becomes much easier to navigate once you're familiar with it, the initial complexity can turn off new users. When working in Obsidian, you can switch between two modes, Edit Mode, where you write, and Preview Mode, where you see how your markdown formatted text looks. Switching between these modes can be done via an icon in the top right corner, but this can get tiresome if you do it frequently. To simplify this, you can hold the command key while clicking the preview icon, which will open a new pane that shows both views side by side. Meanwhile, LogSec's user interface is heavily inspired by Rome research. Like Rome, LogSec renders your text immediately after moving to a new line, which makes for a smooth writing experience. Despite the similarities, LogSec doesn't yet feel as polished. While it introduces new features such as a dedicated journals page, it lacks the overall refinement found in Rome's minimalist interface. There's no denying that LogSec is trying to innovate, but the experience isn't quite as seamless. LogSec is all about practicality and functionality. So for those who prefer apps with polished visuals and a wealth of customization features, it may appear somewhat understated. The graph is kind of like a mind map. It shows all of the connections between all of the notes. It can be useful to help see links between notes and ideas, but it can also be overwhelming when you have a lot of notes. What sets Obsidian's graph view apart is not just its speed, but its flexibility. You can apply filters, create specific groups, and customize the graph's appearance and behavior to suit your needs. However, the real power of Obsidian's graph lies in the local graph feature. To open it, simply click the three dots in the upper right corner of an active note and select Open Local Graph. This feature shows a smaller, more focused graph to map out how the active note connects to other notes and vice versa. These bi-directional links allow for effortless navigation between related ideas, with the graph automatically updating whenever you move to a new note. For added convenience, the local graph can be pinned to the sidebar for easy access. On the other hand, LogSec's graph view sits somewhere between Obsidian's highly praised system and Rome's more basic one. It lacks some of the advanced features that make Obsidian's graph stand out. LogSec does provide the useful ability to filter connections by how many degrees they are away from a selected node, and its search functionality is effective. Still, Obsidian's graph view has set such a high standard that LogSec struggles to match it in terms of depth and customization. Obsidian gets a clear edge here. Backlinks are the core feature of any interconnected note-taking tool. 
enabling you to navigate through your notes like a personal wiki. Linking notes in Obsidian is as simple as typing page title in the body of your text. The app's autocomplete assists in finding existing pages or creating new ones when needed. These links become clickable in preview mode, and they are also reflected in Obsidian's graph view to offer a visual representation of your note connections. Additionally, Obsidian lets you link to specific sections or blocks within a document using a hash for headers or uppercase for blocks. However, one drawback is how Obsidian handles unlinked mentions. They are grouped with regular backlinks in the sidebar, which makes them easy to miss. LogSec, much like Rome and Obsidian, allows you to link notes by typing page title. However, its most unique feature is its ability to function similarly to Rome in linking specific blocks while storing all of your notes in a folder of markdown files instead of relying on a cloud-based database. This technical innovation makes LogSec highly flexible and powerful because it offers the same functionality as Rome but with a greater emphasis on privacy and local storage. So in terms of backlinks, LogSec leaves Obsidian behind. Both Obsidian and LogSec use markdown formatting. It allows users to apply simple styling to their text, such as bolding or creating headers. Obsidian acts as an interface for plain text files stored directly on your device and fully supports standard markdown, with various themes and syntax highlighting available, reading and editing. Markdown within Obsidian becomes more intuitive. However, the beauty of Obsidian is that these notes are not locked into the app. Any text editor can display them just as they are. While this may seem basic, it's essential for those who want flexibility in managing their data. LogSec also supports Markdown. It sticks to standard Markdown conventions that allow for bold text, headers, and links without any difficulty. However, one quirk is that its handling of bulleted and numbered lists can be problematic. When creating a list, the formatting carries over to subsequent lines within the same block, which can result in awkwardly formatted exports. Though this is not a major issue, since LogSec is primarily an outliner rather than a writing app, it's still something to keep in mind. Though both apps are primarily designed for desktop use, there are times when you may need to access your notes while you're on the move. Obsidian's iOS app provides a great mobile experience by delivering nearly all the functionality of its desktop counterpart. This includes support for community plugins to give users a seamless transition between devices. Whether you're using an iPhone or iPad, Obsidian's app offers the full feature set, even supporting familiar gestures like swiping down from the home screen to trigger the command palette. This makes it easy to access any action within the app without relying on an external keyboard for shortcuts. On the flip side, LogSec doesn't yet have a dedicated mobile app. If you're looking to access your LogSec notes on the go, you'll need to find a workaround. One option is to store your notes in a cloud folder and access them via a third-party iOS text editor like OneWriter. By linking OneWriter to your Dropbox, you can edit your notes and any changes will automatically sync, which ensures that your updates are reflected when you return to LogSec on your computer. Getting a great deal is always satisfying, but it's essential that the cost of an app matches the utility it provides. Obsidian's approach to pricing reflects this balance well. The core app is free for personal use, and it allows widespread access to its features. Users who wish to unlock more advanced functionality can choose from two paid options. The Publish service, which allows for public sharing of notes via the web, is offered at $8 per month, billed annually. The Sync feature, at $4 per month, allows for vault synchronization across devices and includes a one-year history of revisions. Like Obsidian, LogSec is free, with optional ways to support its development. For $5 per month, users gain access to insider builds and special Discord badges. That said, which one is the best? Well, there's no straightforward answer. It all depends on preferences. The best you can do is try both for a week, get in-depth experience, and see which one suits your demands the most. Whatever turns the table, go with it. Thanks for watching.